Hello everyone, have a pleasant day. Today's class is valuation of fully paid off shares and partly paid off shares of different denominations. We are going to see the problem. I am Dr. Shtimati from Dr. Ambedkar Global Law Institute, Tirpati. Let us start directly with the problem. This is about a balance sheet of Piramal Company Limited as at 31st December. So you can see the balance sheet, particularly share capital. And there is about a different denomination of equity shares, but it is fully paid up. We are going to see this only in this. And then no fixed assets, including uh, goodwill and current assets, stock, uh, debts, cash at bank, everything is there. And then uh, the average profit for the last four years after charging income taxes 1 lakh and fair return on investment 10 percentage. It is practice of the company to transfer 20 percent of the profit to reserve. So you are required to calculate the breakup value and yield value of each kind of equity share. So breakup value means net asset value. Calculation of breakup value. So assets at market value, fixed assets, stock, book dates. Then cash it back all. So the total asset is this. So we have to reduce the external liabilities, only one liabilities. So that is 80,000. So that we are getting net asset. So the value of rupee 1 paid up capital. So we have to uh, do it like this because when there is about a different denomination. So net asset divided by total capital. So net asset. And the total capital is 5 lakh. You can check with that balance sheet. It is about 5 lakh. So that uh, value of uh, 1 rupee value of share is 1, 1 rupee 24 paise. So we can uh, substitute with the values of 10 each. So that we are getting 12 rupee 40 paise. And then if it is for 7 rupee 50 paise is each means that is 9 rupee 30 paise. And for the value of share uh, 5. It is about uh, multiplied with 1.24, we are getting 6.20, that is 6 rupee 25 say. So this is how you have to calculate for different denomination of fully paid off shares. And uh, the yield value, so average profit they have given for the 4 years, transfer the reserve 20 percentage. So the profit which is available for dividend. So, we can calculate uh, the expected rate of return. Profit available for dividend divided by paid up capital. So, profit available 80,000. Paid up capital 5 lakh. So, we are getting 60 percentage. So, the value of share under yield method. So, expected rate of return divided by normal rate of return multiplied with paid up value per share. So, substituting to that values, value of share 10 each means 16 percent divided by 10 percentage. This 10 percentage given in the problem itself. So multiply with the uh, paid up value per share 10 rupees so that we are getting 16 rupees. So 7 rupees 55 say each we are dis, uh, substituting it and then uh, for 5 each substitute to that values and we are getting 8 rupees. So this is how we have to calculate for yield method. So, both the method it has been calculated, break value and yield method. The next problem is from the balance sheet of Shiva Limited on 31st March 2019, the following figures have been ex extracted. So, share capital is there, 9% percent preference shares of 100 each, 20,000 equity shares of rupees 5 paid up, 10 each, 5 paid up. So, here this is about uh, different paid up value. Same 20,000 equity shares of 10 each, 250 paid up. And 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, fully paid up. So there is about a partly paid up shares with a different denomination. So reserves and surplus, general reserve, profit and loss account. So this is about a liability side of total. Additional information on a revaluation of assets on 31st March 2019, it was found that they had appreciated rupees 1,50,000 over their value in that aggregate. So the articles of association of the company provide that in case of liquidation, preference shareholders would have a further claim of 10% of the surplus assets if any. So if uh, according to that articles, any surplus means then that should go 
true preference shareholders 10 percentage then you are required to determine the value of equity share assuming that a liquidation of the company has taken place on 31st to march 2019 and that the expenses of winding up are nil for computation of surplus assets available to equity shareholders so preference share capital equity share capital general reserve then profit and loss account and then profit on appropriation of asset this is the method how we have to calculate which are given in the theory itself so net asset preference share capital we have to reduce it so that we will get a uh, equity uh, balance then minus the equity share capital then we will get a surplus which is available to equity shareholders so out of this surplus we want to find out available to equity shareholders so surplus to preference shareholders as if it has been given in the articles of association we have to transfer 10 percent so we are transferring 10 percent out of 6 lakh 50 thousand so balance is surplus asset available to equity shareholders 5 lakh 85 thousand so computation of total amount available to equity shareholders equity share capital 3 lakh 50 thousand then equity shareholders share of surplus is 5 lakh 85 thousand so the total amount amount available is 9 lakh 35 thousand so we will calculate uh, per equity share of different paid up value so one rupee value we want to calculate so total amount divided by paid up capital total amount 9,35,000 divided by paid up capital for all the shares of different denomination is 3,50,000. So the value is 2 rupees 67 paise. So the value of each share, first one is 2 rupees 50 paise share, right? Paid up. So that is the value substituted and then 5 per share paid up and then 10 each paid up. So we are just substituting the values and multiplying with. Hope you understood. Until the next, it's bye from Srimati. Thank you.